Welcome to Google Refine. Let's start by copying data from a Wikipedia article on the Filmfare Award for Best Screenplay and saving the data in a text file. Open Refine and choose the file you just saved. We know this particular data set is tab separated, so we will let Refine split it into columns by making sure that this box is checked. In this case, we know there's no header row, so we will change the header lines to zero. Now give the project an appropriate name and click the Create Project button. Refine has automatically split the data into year, screenwriters, and film columns. Rename the columns accordingly by clicking on the Column 1 drop-down menu and selecting Edit Column, Rename this column. Repeat for all columns, screenwriters, and films. We know Wikipedia has in this case listed the year of the ceremony rather than the award year. That is, the year listed is 2010, but it's actually a 2009 film award. Rather than editing each cell, we can perform a transformation on the column using Google Refine Expression Language, also known as GREL. Click on the Year Column drop-down menu and select Edit Cells, Transform. A dialog box appears that allows us to transform the values in this column. In this case, we use the expression that will convert the value to a number and subtract one from it, as shown here. The preview window shows what the transformation expression has done. The results look like what we wanted, so we can click the OK button. The years are now properly reported. Next, we see that in some cases, the screenwriter column has more than one person listed. This is a common occurrence in many of the film-related tasks that we do. We need to split these multi-valued cells so that they stay associated with the appropriate row. Notice, though, that some of the values are separated by commas and some by ampersands. No problem. Click the drop-down menu on the screenwriter's column and select Edit Cells, Split Multi-Valued Cells. A dialog box will appear asking us what separator currently separates these values. Select comma and then click OK. You will see that the comma separated values have been split and dropped down in the cell below. Now click the same drop down menu on the screenwriter's column and select edit cells, split multi-valued cells, and enter ampersand as the separator and click OK. This will resolve the remaining screenwriters and now your data is properly separated. Now, notice that some of the films have footnote notations carried over from the Wikipedia page. We'll want to strip them out and, as with many things in Refine, there are multiple ways to do this. One way is to find these cells by applying a facet, text facet, on the Films column. Enter one of the characters that's probably unique to the footnotes in the filter field. In this case, we will use the left square bracket. You could, of course, edit each of these cells individually, but we want to think in terms of doing things to multiple cells with one expression. So after filtering to find the footnoted items and seeing that they are all single digits in length, we can go to the drop-down menu for films and select Edit Cells, Transform. Use the expression shown here to count back and remove three characters and leave the rest of the data as you see it in the preview. Click OK to apply the change, remove your text filter, and all of your films are properly named without the footnotes. We are now ready to reconcile the screenwriter and film columns. The film column is a good place to start because there are fewer total titles and film names tend to be more unique and therefore easier to reconcile. In the drop-down menu for the films column, select Reconcile, Start Reconciling. Select Freebase Reconciliation Service and it will try to determine what Freebase type appears in that column. It correctly selects film, but if it hadn't, we'd pick another suggested type or search for it. We can add the other columns as data to include as possible disambiguators by clicking Year and searching for Initial Release Date, and clicking Screenwriters and searching for Screenplay By. Adding these extra disambiguators should help more topics be automatically reconciled. Click the Start Reconciling button. A yellow box will appear at the top of the screen showing progress. When the reconciliation process is finished, you will see the results in the Refine window. The left pane shows the choices by judgment blank for the multi-valued cell splits we did, matched for the ones recon matched, and none for the ones we still need to match. Click the None link to filter on just those films. Now let's begin reconciling the film data. If you click Search for Match, Relevance will search for the film by name. If you find it, select the match. In the case of Life in a Metro, we find it listed in Select. In the case of Kamla Came Out, there are no correct results, so we select New. Continue this process through all of the unmatched topics. For the film PAR, it appears as one of the suggested but unsure matches. Click on the PAR link and the topic block data for this film appears, which may give us enough information to make a decision. We can also click through to view the freebase topic, or for this one, to the IMDB page to make sure we have the appropriate topic selected. It is, so we can click match. 
It is unlikely for a film to appear twice in this job, since there is only one winner per year, so selecting match, which matches only this instance of the data, is best. When we get to screenwriters, it's likely for a screenwriter to win multiple years, so we would then match all identical cells. On Dewar, there are two films by this name, but with different associated dates. We search and find the 1975 version, which matches the rest of the data for this film, and select it. Now we have reconciled all the films and can remove the facets in the left pane. Reconciling the screenwriters column is a similar process. In the drop-down menu for screenwriters, select Reconcile to start reconciling. Click on the Freebase Reconciliation service. Refine defaulted to person as the type, but we'll want to select film writer instead. There may be other possible matches, but since some of these topics may not yet be typed as screenwriters, we'll want to look at them separately to determine the matches. Now, click the Start Reconciling button. Refine matched 28 screenwriters, and there are 27 we need to review. When we get to Jadeep Sani and search, we see there are two name matches. My inclination is to review them for possible merges in another tab. I add one to the merge queue and then select what I expect to be the winner of the merge as the right topic. Continue this process for the rest of the screenwriter's data. This job is now ready for us to align to the freebase schemas. Information on this process will appear in the next screencast.